Hey everyone, so we're here at Camadeus and taking a look at the new screen plane rig that's sort of been out for a while but now it's here in stock and ready to rent. So we're going to take a look at it real quick. So you see here it has uh, essentially a built-in Cayman uh, lens control so you can plug in all your your six lens controls right into the rig. It's integrated with the C-Motion so sort of built into the rig itself. Um, all the height adjustments and alignment adjustments are right here, essentially sort of like the Element Technica rig does, and then it locks off on the side here once you do your alignment, once you set it. Uh, one of the big differences between this rig and a lot of the other rigs out there, it's got this interesting uh, yoke setup, um, and essentially once you loosen that, you can sort of tilt the rig without actually tilting the head, which can allow you to get certain angles that you normally couldn't with a, with a 3D rig. Um, they have two mirror boxes. They have a standard mirror box that the standard one sh should reach out to a 16 mil on a full frame. And then they have another mirror box right here, which is the wide angle. It's obviously much bigger and reaches out to 14. And um, one of the other interesting features on their rigs is this. It's actually like a filter tray, like a regular filter tray, so you don't have to tape on filters like you would on a lot of the other rigs. There's a light seal in there, sort of like a little airy filter tray. It's got the little knobs and whatnot. The mirror is completely static. You cannot change its angle or adjust it in any way. Um, it's the whole mirror box is actually bolted into the rig via a few main attachments. The principal one is, is the center one right there. Um, you can adjust convergence manually or with motors. Uh, this is obviously the motion plate that changes the I.O. of the camera, so the bottom camera. In essence, sim very similar to the Element Technica rig where you have like an alignment module and then a motion module and they're separate from each other. And we're lucky enough today to have a rig that's actually completely built out with Alexa Pluses and Cook Lenses, Zooms. So here you see a fully working screen plane rig ready to shoot. And um, the one key component that you'll notice is their, uh, their merger box. And this merger box essentially lets you converge without having to converge the cameras. So what a lot of people are referring to as HIT. So you get the feeds, they come in here, they process out here, or they come out HDMI onto a monitor. Um, and then you can see here the interface is touchscreen, and you get side by side, over and under, um, you know, tile, interlaced, anaglyph, you can see the left, you can see the right, our most favorite difference mode for aligning, you know, mix, wiggle, let's go back to side by side right there. So you could do a split, vertical, split, horizontal, LUTs. Um, it actually does a lot of stuff. It does, there's the HIT menu, 3D setup, um, you know, and it's actually, you know, everything's now working. Gives you a lot of metadata. This captures metadata, I believe. And it also interfaces with the C-Motion handset via the C-Bus cable that, you know, plugs into, which essentially is the built-in Cayman that they have in the rig. So you can see here, since this is a working rig, we have the uh, six motors set up. And... Um, so, you see here Alexa Plus, we got sync being provided via this, the uh, reference sync output on the camera. We got uh, a split power cable for both cameras going to a, a uh, AC supply. And, um, right, so there's the lens control right there, and we see the Hayden motors right there that do our lens control. This is the... Uh, bigger mirror box of the two, so it should cover up to 14 or thereabouts. And um, today these are Cook lenses, they're 20 to 60s, I believe.
So very similar to the Element Techno rig or some of the other rigs out there, you know, you could pretty much fit almost any camera on here via, you know, maybe different plates on there, interface plates that you can swap out. Um, and, it, you know, again, that same tilt feature, which is really nice. Now, one of the things is, here we go, here's a uh, C-Motion, C-Volution uh, handset. And um, this has a great new interface. And if you see here, this one's set up to do the 3D control. So it actually gives you readouts right on the handset. Or, you know, when you plug in the uh, C-Display, it actually gives you a lot of information for 3D control. Um, it does um, some automatic um, 3D adjustments. And, you, you know, and you can see a lot of different setups right there for different things you can do. Yeah. You could always go in and control other stuff. And we got a separate handset in this case for the focus puller with, you know, zoom, focus, and iris control. You know, so you can see, there we go. And of course, there is focus. So, another thing, of course, is. Um, so this does the I.O. and this does convergence, but if you can, maybe you can see it on the screen there. It's doing the convergence. You can see like, for example, the, uh, if you look here, the two rings that you're seeing there, I'm going to converge on the handset there, and you see that come together. And if we go to the background, you'll see the background separate. So it's doing all that convergence, and the cameras aren't moving. The convergence is being processed by the merger box. Um, so it goes in the feed, it's go in here, this goes out to that monitor. So it's, the merger box is actually talking to the C-Motion and getting input from the hand controller. So very exciting. Uh, I had a job scheduled for it in a few weeks' time, but... Uh, Unfortunately, I had other other uh, conflicting uh, engagements, so hopefully I'll be working, I'll get a chance to get this on set soon. And uh, also very exciting is um, they have their smaller version, which they call the Steadiflex. Um, and you can see there it's like a handheld and it also has like a similar yoke style, so you can, you know, you can get put an angle on it without having to tilt the camera. It also has like built-in motor controls, um, so it cleans up the cable. This is also naturally, as a Steadicam operator, something I'm looking very forward to flying and testing out. So, in the future, you can uh, you can look out for me doing a little review and hopefully being on set with it. <laughs> and giving you guys a really good review and look at the system. So there you have it.